Hello quilting friends, I'm Linda Nitson here today to show you how to make the Jacob's Ladder Block. You can use your Fabby machine, Big Shot, or the Big Kick machine, or your Big Shot Pro machine by Sizzix. Either one will work great. You need two dies to make this block. You need the two and a half square and the four and a half half square triangle unit here. So let's get to cutting. We're going to start with the two and a half inch squares first. For the peach with the print, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total. And it will be the same for the green as well. And you'll cut them exactly the same, but let's get started. So we'll take the green. We have this delicious fabric from Andover Prints. This is the Downton Abbey fabric, part of that collection. When you put your fabric on the die, you want to make sure that your fabric goes over the outside of the die area, but not to cover the entire back. So if I put my fabric way up here, I'm going to waste some. And we don't want to waste any of our beautiful fabric, so we put our fabric right over where we need it. And we're going to fold back and forth. I leave my hand inside there so I know how far over we need to go, and it's lined up straight. So put a cutting pad on top and you want your cutting pad and any excess fabric on the bottom. And you can cut up to eight layers of fabric at a time and that would include anything between the cutting pads. So we have um, not exceeded our limitations. Put your die into the machine, turn the handle. You want to slide that cutting pad off and here are your shapes. Sometimes we end up with a piece that's going to stick. Just give it a quick snip with your scissors and we'll start laying this out. So the last two and a half inch square goes right here in the corner. Be mindful of the way your pattern repeats. Be careful not to turn if you have a directional print. Be careful not to turn that print. Okay, now we're going to run through with the half square triangle. So you need to switch dies to the four and a half inch half square triangle. Okay, put your fabric right sides together. Line up your edge here and place it on the die, still right sides together. And you put your edge of the fabric over. Fold your fabric back and forth. Now we need four of each print. We get two at a time on this die. So I have one, two, three, four of each one. We're going to put the cutting pad on top when we achieve that. Then we're going to fold everything underneath. And we'll want to get that out of the way too. Fold your, your fold on the outside of the die. And so we have our sandwich here, our cutting pad at the top, cutting pad at the bottom. And we're going to put that in the machine and cut them out. Again, you can use either machine, your Pro or your Fabby. Slide your cutting pad off and then pull your pairs out. Carefully take your pairs to your sewing machine and sew them as one unit. It doesn't matter at this point if you sew the peach on the top or the peach at the bottom. When we open them up and press them, you can flip and turn them whichever way you need to. You do have a bias edge on this half square triangle, so don't overhandle and don't stretch that fabric. So you can finger press this seam open or take it to your hot iron. Just be careful not to stretch that seam there. Refer to the first one here. Make sure that your triangles are facing each other. And then we're going to get started on the four patches. So if you have a directional print, 
put that directional print on top as you're sewing it to make sure that you can see what you're working on. And we're just going to chain sew those together. Quarter inch seam. So one right after the other. Once you have your two patches together, your two, two and a half squares together, you're going to want to cut them apart. So we've chain sewn all of them together. At this point, you want one facing up and the other facing down. To keep our pattern correct, we're going to match up the seams here and we're going to match our seams, folding the seam over so that it faces the darker of the two prints. In this point, it would be the green would be the darker of the two prints. And I just place a pin right there in the middle of that. Take it back to your sewing machine. Do this to all of the pairs. Remember, do not sew over any pins. Quarter inch seam. And then to all of the four patches, you will open those up and you will give this a little press open. So whether you take it to your ironing board is ideal or you press it with your fingers and then we will lay them out. Now that we have all of the pieces that we need to assemble our Jacob's Ladder block, let's go ahead and assemble that together. So you will take the top left hand block and overlay the middle. And I'm gonna do this upside down to you, but it will make sense to you when you're sewing. Take them in rows. And if you feel comfortable pinning, go ahead and pin. At this stage, they are spot on. I'm just matching up my corners here and giving that a quarter inch seam. Be very careful with your seam allowances. You've pressed them towards one direction. Make sure that when you sew them, they are sewing in that direction as well. And that will help with the way the block lays out in the end. It will lay out much flatter. These die cuts really help out. They'll come out perfect every time. Okay, this looks the first row. Let's just open that up and make sure that we sewed it correctly. Our pattern is going the way we want it to and all of our peach squares and our green squares match up. Then let's sew that last row. When you get to the next block, you just take the next piece, lay it right sides together on top of the open block and continue sewing. Let's bring this out, double check that we've got everything again before you sew going the other direction. Looks good to me, flip this one on top and then you're going to put one seam up and one seam down. So I like to put the one on my left hand, the seam facing my left hand first. You might need to stretch that fabric just a little bit, but the dies are set up to help you. All you have to do is that perfect quarter inch. The seam allowance is already built into the die for you. Once you finish that second seam, then go ahead and open that up and there's your finished block. Now let's flip this over and show you how to press it. So you can open these seams, but since we chain sewed, you've got a little seam here in the middle. Just give that a little snip. It's just a couple of threads. You're not clipping the fabric, you're just clipping the thread. And then you can open up this last seam, this one here and it will, your block will lay much flatter in the end. So give that a little press. Of course, take it with your iron and give it a little spot. And that's what it will look like from the back. Two identical blocks from the front. That's your Jacob's Ladder block. Have fun.